Hey, what's up guys? Fong VLG here. Today we are going to be having a little bit of an interesting video here with the SI. It's uh, been a while since we worked on her and uh, we're going to change the little pace here. Uh, as you guys know, I'm going with the whole aero look and there are some future plans aesthetically with the car. But I wanted to do something just to see how it would change my experience with the vehicle. And currently just show you guys how a little update. Uh, so we ended up putting this cover back on. I just took out the... Uh, boot that was there because I still wanted to show off the acuity uh, shifter down there as you guys can see I changed the shift knob so it's not the Esco T6 anymore but it's the skunk 2 and the skunk 2 is just slightly or actually not slightly but it's pretty heavy um, and it just makes shifting much easier but I still am gonna play around with the settings on the acuity shifter and in doing so we're gonna be removing this entire console here so that's all gonna be gone here in a bit and um, we're gonna do that today on top of that I'm thinking about gutting out these rear seats. That and maybe the side panels as well. Um, like I said, I just want a little change of pace with the car. We've been sticking with all of this and I don't really have anybody in the back seats. I really just have two, pa uh, two, two people in the car at a time, never really people on the rears. So I thought, you know what? I'll keep the seats and everything just in case I do want to put it back. But just a change of pace. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I just want to go full race car in this whole thing and just see how I feel about it. And then uh, we'll figure out along the way. So let's get to it, guys. This is gutting the SI. All right. So I just heard you have to put the seats down. That's step one. Figure out the seatbelt situation here in a second. All right. So it looks like we got the one tab here. We can go ahead and start taking this off. A uh, few tabs here, and it looks like a tab here. I'm gonna have to figure out how to remove this bad boy too. So we'll figure that out. And then uh, I believe there should be some bolts here. Yep, there we go. These bolts, I believe, in order to uh, take the seats out. Same thing, yep, one there. And then should be under here as well. Somewhere around here. So we're, we're figuring out the process here. I really just want to see and feel the experience of just not having anything in the rear. So we'll see. So I don't only have my pry tool, so I'll just use two flatheads to get around this. There we go. Just pry that out. Ooh, almost took myself out there. In there. God damn, that motherfucker's really in there. I, mean, I do need a pry tool. Shit. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, okay, let's see. Mm-hmm. Nope, yeah, it just comes off. Wow, Pry tool makes life so much easier. Ooh. Fuck yeah. So we got this one here out. The one that was dead center. Right there. Flip that over now, you can just take this, this whole thing out. And then we got the one here as well. So there's two on the side, one down there. Now I'm gonna aim for these bolts right here on the chair and the one over here. We should be able to take that chair out. Um, but I'm also trying to get the, rid of this liner as well because I don't want that in the car. It's gotta be full gutted. Same thing with this, we gotta figure, figure this out. I'll probably keep this, I don't know, we'll see. All right, so slowly progressing, just took out this and then and I'm taking that out. We're not gonna need that anymore. So we're good, we're getting there. Slowly getting there. I can already see there's uh looks like that over there and that over there. And I actually might use an Allen key to get out, or I can just oh no. You just pop out. Okay. Well I'll just keep it back in there for now. Um then it seems like here on the sides just to get this liner out. But let's go ahead and get our socket. I think that's a 12. So we'll find out. We'll see if this 12 works. And uh, try and get the seats out. And boom! One seat out. Who needs back seats? So now it seems that after taking out the seat, we got this bracket that we can go ahead and just remove that bolt right there. So we'll just remove that bolt, take that out. And same thing on this side. Oh, this one's a little different actually. So we'll have to figure that out because I don't see that particularly. Maybe it's on the back, but uh, I don't see that being a bolt. Looks like it's on the other side. 
And then I wonder about these cushions. How can I, oh, these are just move already. Oh, sick. So let's go ahead and take out this seat now. And uh, I believe it's gotta be somewhere under here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Maybe it is just this one bolt that's attached actually. And then over in this side, yeah, the one here. I got the one here. Oh, that's easy. I'm actually just gonna hand do that. This one's fairly easy as well. So boom, it was just in the hole. We just gotta get it angled, slide it out. Back seats out of here. Actually a fairly easy job. How do you remove this? It's a good question. All right, so basically, I don't know if you guys can see it well. Basically, under this seat, uh, if I can get around to it, uh, see if I can show you guys this. There is a latch under here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but. There's a latch under there. Basically, I gotta push forward and pull it out, and then we can go ahead and get these seats out. So I'm gonna try and get at that. So we finally got these bottom of the seats here out. When you take the seatbelt out, there's a little uh, section here where you can slide it right out. And then there's this little section where the, uh, I'll show you in there too, but where there's a clip, you gotta move it forward in order to get these unlatched from the front. Now to show you what I mean, it's these little guys right here. So you see, you gotta push that forward. So you gotta get under the seat, push this forward, and then pull up the seat, and it will basically uh, disconnect. Cause that's where it's in, that just locks it. So yeah. Got them on both sides, two of them. Now we get to work on everything else. Okay, so fast forward. Finally gutted out the rear, didn't take out the door panels. I might do that later. Uh, I didn't want to bother with the seat belts either. That seemed too complicated. So I just figured I just kind of keep them in there. And in case I do plan on putting the seats back, at least the seat belts are already there. Uh, trunks are already done as well. So, no more of that. Um, I don't want to say how much I think I basically took out and weigh maybe like 80 pounds, who really knows. And then uh, also get it out the shifter too. So I figured I'd cut out just a little bit of weight, just kind of change the vibe and uh, my driver experience. Did a lot of zip tie work off camera, so definitely a late update here. But here you guys go. So got my Honda kind of nice and displayed there. Uh, Put my parking brake and all that here, sport button. So, try to make it look a little different. Made that look as nice as possible. And, uh, yeah. This is it. Let's go ahead and start up the car. Not a cold start since so I drove the car earlier. Oh, we can turn on the lights though. There we go. Things set up here. Perfect. Things looking good. Still got my climate controls. I might need to tape under this. And then I'm gonna start running my phone over here. I'm gonna go buy that little sticky put there for your phone and then uh yeah, this is uh, this is it so far, guys. Super excited. So now we got all this out of the way. Step out again. Show you guys. And uh, yeah, just gonna go for a quick drive now. See how things are going. <laughs> 